Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Quest to Learn 5,000 Words in Sign Language. Today, we're switching things up, and I think it's probably good to have a little bit of a switch up, particularly because of this, you know, virus situation that's going around. It's scaring a lot of people. It's causing a lot of panic, and I thought, what better way to check out what's going on than to see what the deaf community has to say about it. So I found a whole bevy of channels that are all about dealing with talking to people about leaving their religion, um, going over trauma, dealing with anxiety, or even things like the coronavirus. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. So please check out uh, Deaf Counseling Center. It's these guys right here, Deaf Count. Oh, let me move this down just a wee bit. Come on down, scroll, scroll for me. <laughs> Deaf Counseling Center, only 1,000 subscribers support these guys. And we'll, I just saw this video once and I was like, you know what, let's make a video on this because this is great, especially in this time that we're in. Plus, it's been a while since I did a full breakdown of, uh, of a sign language thing for a while. I mean, I think we only looked at the Dragon Prince, really. So how about we go over this? I don't think I'll get copyright claimed because <laughs> these guys might be a lot more cooler. And we can talk about the signs that they use in this. And the overall message of dealing with the stress that comes from, you know, the panic that's being ensued by the coronavirus. And is there a better way of going about it? Is there a better way to understand, you know, uh, how to treat people and how to think of like good methods of parsing good information from bad information uh, through a situation like this? I think like in times like this, street epistemology is absolutely critical. So let's go over it. Uh, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just gonna go through the full video. It's about a minute. Then we'll do the the step-by-step -step breakdown, right? Because it's only a minute long. All right, so let's make sure I have, we're at normal speed. Let's just go with it. And what's her name? Her name is Shelly Barber. Cool. Welcome, everyone. To, oh, let me back up. I got some things that I need to uh, do. Let me put this on mute. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see why in a second. Anyway, let's go for again from the beginning. Everyone, welcome to Deaf Corona Virus Support Group. We very happy. Oh man, she's really fast. Uh, we very happy. We very appreciative. We very uh, thankful. So many. Okay, let's go again. We very appreciative. So many people joining. And I don't know what that sign is. Uh, wonderful, positive posts that everyone. Okay, gotta go again slow. Sorry, she's so she's so fluent. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go again. Posts that help everyone stay calm during the tragic time where our our, our country is in. Uh, remembering everyone, reminding everyone, uh, be kind, avoid posting anything that maybe adds more panic, and just avoid anything belittling, sentences, anything, xeno, whoa, I gotta see that again, xenophobia? looks like belittling uh for example oh man all right let's do this one last time anything belittling like phrases anything xenophobia that looking at comments that are belittling for example hey uh you're from china it's your fault uh we help i want we want this to be we want this, oh, I think she's saying safe. We want this group, I gotta see it again, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> we want this group be safe, almost. We want this group be safe, place, what does that mean? Slow down. For everyone, that's what she's saying. We want this group to be a safe place for everyone. We want this group be safe for everyone. And please help me 
And please help me, everyone. What's that? Oh, please help me, everyone, keep group safe. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that's a little window in my ability to like try to parse sign language. It takes a while. There's a lot of really, really small signs put into this, but she signs in a really clear way. I really like it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, maybe just one more quick run through now that I, I feel a bit more familiar with what's going on. Yeah, let's do one last walk through. It's only about a minute and then we'll do a breakdown of the signs that we see here. Hey, everyone. Welcome to my deaf Corona virus support group. We very appreciated it to see so many people joining and I don't know what that sign is. And it's wonderful, positive posts. We help everyone stay calm during this terrible time our country is in, more or less. Want to remind people, be kind, Avoid posting, you know, anything that might be adding more panic to the society, to the situation. And, you know, avoid anything belittling, you know, insults, uh, phrases that like xenophobic, that when you see them in comments, it like belittles people, for example. Hey, you're from China, dude, it's all your fault. You don't want people to say that. Like, we want to keep this group safe uh, for everyone. And please help me keep this group s safe. Thank you. <laughs> second time a little bit better. Second time a little better. So let's go over the actual signs then. Because there are some really, really good ones there. I think colloquially it would make a lot of sense. And there's like probably just one that I really don't get too well. But that's fine. Normally when I'm doing um, reception stuff like this, I'll slow it down a little bit. So how about we go at half speed, and if we need to go any slower, we'll go slower. All right, so let's talk. Let me set this up. Let's talk about the signs that we're seeing. Properties. Hey, getting this text bubble ready. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's actually do a breakdown of the signs that we're seeing here. All right, so first sign is, hello, everyone. Welcome to Deaf Corona Virus Support Group. Hey, that's pretty good. Welcome. All right. So she says, welcome everyone to Deaf Corona Virus Support Group. All right. So welcome. Welcome. You can be like, welcome. There are a lot of different ways to say welcome, but you're just like encouraging people with like a general, hey, welcome to, uh, this also is a sign for point. So like, what's your point? But to, like to, or just tapping a finger point. Like this is like at, this is like to, you don't even have to be that hardcore. Sometimes that mixes up, but welcome. And then you can go straight into the thing that you're welcoming to, but she's going out of her way to be like to, so like, welcome to um, C-O-R-O-N-A-V-I-R-U-S. Uh, so when I see someone spelling like a really long word, what I do is like I try to capture the first three letters. This is not a tip that you should probably do. It's just what I'm doing that sometimes work. So if they have like a really long word, I'll get like the first three letters and then I'm just try to guess what they're trying to spell from that. So for example, if someone's saying like, hello, or like, hello, my name, G-O-N, and then it's just a bunch of stuff. And in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, it's probably like Jonathan, let's just see if it ends with an A-N. And if I see like A-N, I'm like, I know what your name is. <laughs> Cause I can't spell on the fly that quickly. But if it doesn't end on an N and it's like U L or like U Z, you're like, ooh, like what is your name? You're gonna have to spell that again for me again. Do that slow. But if it's like, you know, C O R and it's like a bunch of stuff and I'm thinking, oh, is it because everyone's talking about the coronavirus, I'm bet there's gonna be a lot of R's in here, and there's like another R and then it ends in an S, you're like coronavirus. Like, I get it. That's that's my strat for long, long spelling. Anyway, uh, 
So she spells coronavirus, support, support, group. And group, the general sign for group is like this. Um, if you do it with an F, it's a family. If you do it with a T, it's a team. But just general, this is group. You could do groups with the G sign. This is the letter G. But you don't have to. So just do like this. It's good. All right. Hey, welcome to the Spark Group. We see, we very, oh, I didn't catch that first time. We very appreciative, thankful to see so many of you guys join, 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 join. And I don't know what this sign is. <laughs> Wonderful, po positive post posts that help everyone stay I'm I say calm there but that's may not be the exact word for calm I don't know what the ASL word for calm is should we look it up let's look it up ASL calm what is what is the what's the sign for calm oh it is that oh okay I didn't even know so yeah I would say you know, even if I didn't get the exact word, like we understand what that means. Like you don't even need to know sign language to know that. So it's the body language of just, whoo, everyone calm down. Everyone's freaking out. Everyone's coming down, right? It means the same thing. That That is a gimme. <laughs> cool. Uh, we appreciative to see so many posts. Did she say posts or so many uh, people joining and posts and wonderful posts. So we very, I did that in my uh, third episode of the uh, quest to learn 5,000 word sign language walkthrough video, but very, right? So we very, uh, she goes like this, which is like thank you, but she does it with both hands. And in my head, that's like double thank you. So like, that's like very thankful. Like, oh, I'm super, super thankful. Appreciative. Um, it's my pleasure. I really, really enjoyed that. Like, there's a lot of different ways you can interpret that. Um, to see, and she does to see the nice way. And there are a lot of nice ways to say, I saw that. I watched that. I'm looking at that. Don't do it like this. <laughs> this is the bad way. This is the good way. So... I'm very happy to see um, so many people or all of you guys joining, join, join. This is the sign for join. It's like you're going into a cup. So like joining a cup. I know that's weird, but it is. That's how I remember it. So join, 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 join. So many people are joining. And wonderful. I like wonderful like this, but it's fine. I have to probably, that's probably too much jazz hands, but like. Wonderful. You <laughs> Wonderful. That's really, really good, dude. It almost feels sarcastic when you do it that way. It's like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, that's wonderful. Right? I like, oh, you're so good. Oh, you did it. Right? Ah. Uh, okay. But wonderful. That's the best way to do it. And then posts. Posts. So think of it as like you have a flyer and you're putting it up on um, a telephone pole. They had those back in the day. And you're like pushing in the push pins. And that's like putting up a sign. So that's a post. All right. Let's keep going. Hey, we're making good time. Yeah, we're making great time. Let's keep going. Posts. Positive. Posts. Post. That. Ooh, that was a small one. That. That. But she does it with both hands. Maybe she does it with just one. But you barely you can see it. But this means that. That. So positive posts that help you help you this is a general sign for help help you help me so positive posts that help you or help me well I, I, I forgot the direction that she was doing that in let's see what she was doing that help you everybody help everyone stay calm stay calm stay calm hey you might want to know that one stay calm I'm I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, um, trying, I'm just trying to stay, try and stay at the, kind of the same sign. Stay, so I would say, I'm just trying to stay calm. Let's verify that. 
A cell sign for try looks a lot like stay. You oh, it's kind of like it. Yeah, I guess then if that's the case, then it's with the pinky out. And here's the ASL sign for stay. It should be like this with the pinky out. It's very similar. I was hoping you can like combine the two. Ah, uh, still. There you go. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Though in my head, and this is where we get into semantics land, uh, I'm interpreting that that sign that we saw as stay calm, not still still continue to be calm. And there's like wiggle room there. That's generally stay calm. That's fine for me. But if I were going to say I was trying to stay calm, I would put out two fists, then the pinky fist, and then this guy. In context, it makes sense. So you don't have to be too specific. It's all good. It's all about what you're trying to convey and less about the exact words because it's a language. You're allowed to play with it a bit. Anyway, let's keep going. During this terrible... Ooh, that was a very small this. Did you catch that? I want everyone to stay calm. Stay calm during this. It was very, very small. This terrible during all right calm, during this ooh so small and then she goes terrible time in our country all right so during it's like happening but during uh this it's like this this and terrible is sort of like dislike i don't like that so like like is like i like that dislike is i don't like that really don't like is I really don't like it so like terrible terrible time in our that was like lesson number three our country also lesson number three because it's like you're holding a shield and you're polishing it as like representing what your country is so like you're polishing your country polishing the shield that represents your country anyway that's how I remember it all right want Remind, this is a general sign for remind. She's saying I'm reminding everyone. Thinking of her finger as like a group of different people. So like I'm reminding all these people. Be kind. There's like a thousand different ways to sign kind, right? But she's saying kind, kind of like this, but it's the same thing as this. And you might see, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. In an ASL textbook, ASL for kind, you're probably going to sign a lot, so many different ones here. Uh, not which kind. I meant kind as in like, uh, um, uh, yeah, this. Oh, don't you dare. No ads on this channel, sir. <laughs> no ads on this channel. Excuse me. Not as in the type. Come on, guys. Anyway. You probably saw from that thumbnail, the guy was going like, excuse me, the guy was going like this, but she was going like this. It means the same thing. You can't get caught up too much on the signs. You have to think more about like the, the context and the intent of the person who's trying to communicate with you. Kind of like if I use slang or if I just had an accent or if I st structure my sentences differently to express something with a bit more emphasis on a certain point than others maybe i'm speaking more poetically maybe i'm trying to be more concise and to the point maybe i'm a bit lethargic and i'm i'm just trying to meander maybe i'm hiding like details and i'm speaking around certain subjects there's a lot of color that goes into how someone communicates and that goes even to sign language so even the difference between this versus this could be a regional thing could just be hey man i'm sitting down i'm comfortable i'm just gonna sign right this like this it's all good and that's one of the cool things about sign language is that everyone really kind of does it a little differently and it's interesting once you understand like the scope of it a bit the the character of the person who's trying to talk to you and i get a lot of good vibes from this lady <laughs> you're good shelly you're good all right let's go so anyway avoid posting anything post that maybe adds more panic yeah hey man stop posting misleading information in grass we'll talk about that but maybe in maybe on the podcast we actually have a, a podcast 
maybe a good time to plug. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. We've been talking about the coronavirus and a lot of the panic that's been coming about of it, largely from people spreading rumors or really bad information and just adding more fear to a situation that doesn't need it. Giving really bad advice that's actually counterproductive. Uh, <laughs> and we can go in that whole tangent. Anyway, um, guys, CDC has their own YouTube channel. I would recommend that you check them out. They don't have the most exciting information, but it's inform informative information. And in a world where there's 24-hour news people with agendas and all this stuff, just getting it directly from the source means a lot. So don't post things that make people scared. Post the information from the experts as they're giving it from the source of where they are getting the information from. I think it's the best thing to do. And they, what I love best about the CDC's channel is that they explain information soberly. And, and without trying to scare people, but in a honest fashion as well. And it's just really great. I'll put a link for it in the channel. Anyway. And just avoid, just avoid anything belittling. Ooh, so this sign means less or least? This is like least or like l less, right? But you could also do this. But when you do it with like an ink, I'm sorry. This is like less with a neutral face. This is like less or like least, right? But when you do it with like an angry face or a sad face, it's like, dude, you made me feel like a less of a person. You like belittled me, made me feel bad. You hurt me. And so like, this is like in my head, belittle. It's like I'm belittling you. Um, And look at that face. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect, right? So this sign is like, hey, man, you know, stop belittling people, right? Like, you don't want that. You don't want that. Like, belittling sentences, belittling phrases, anything xenophobia, where she can see on the comments, belittling comments. For example, all right, let's talk about that. So for, I want to show you, this is a sign for show, and this is a sign for. So for showing you, when you put that together, it means for example, yeah? So for example, hey. <laughs> and so in my opinion, all right, there's you, there's your, which is like neutral, and then there's like back off, <laughs> which is means a different thing. So it's all about what the face, right? So it's like yours, is this yours? Yours, is this yours? No, back off, right? It means different things based on how you're saying it. And with that expression that she's giving, it's like, hey, less more like, hey, look at that face. Perfect. You're from China. Your, your fault. Yeah, and a lot of people are blaming other people just based, again, on really unfortunate superficial details like that, man. So... Yeah, man, we we are in this mess together as a as a group as a as a human race. Let's recognize that it doesn't help to start, you know, victimizing people just based on what they look like and the assumption that you're making. All right, let's continue. Ooh, she's got that mom face. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. All right. That is the face of like, oh, I came in past curfew and I hope mom doesn't find me and you do you sneak in and she's just in that rolling chair and she turns around. And she's like, did you think I wouldn't notice that you came in past curfew? Look at that. We want you, your, uh, we want you group. Let me see. We want this group be safe for everyone. Nice. We want, we want, or we want, that's the best way of doing it, um, this group be safe for everyone. Do you see how she does that? It's like each and every. I We, we talked about that on um, the third lesson, but the sign for each is like this. The sign for every is like this. Each and every is the one that I'm most com useful, I'm used to seeing when people do that. But she's combining everyone rather than like everyone which is how i would normally see it 
I'm, I want this for everyone, right? She's like, no, I want this for everyone. I'm like, that's cool use of words right there. I like it. All right. <sighs> keep, all right, let's keep going. This is really great. Safe for everyone. Nice. And please help me, everybody, keep this group safe. Keep this group safe. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good time. You know, uh, that was cool. And thank you, Sinatra, for keep <laughs> making music. Anyway, hey, guys, that's it. That's the quick video for today. Um, I think we learned some really cool sign language tips. Let's see if we can make some quick tools. Let's make a quick three-pointer lesson. One, don't um, post... Don't post silly stuff, you know, Two, <laughs> come on. Can we just be for real? Can we just stop posting silly stuff to um, check out CDC's YouTube channel, YouTube channel and be nice. How about be kind, be kind and stop posting silly stuff. Check out CDC's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description and then finally check out, check out deaf counseling center they make good stuff and i'll be doing more breakdowns of their videos in the future and that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm not going to do that whole spiel that a lot of youtubers do i'm just going to say if you enjoy this i hope that you learn something from it and if i'm lucky i'll see you next time all right that is it i would normally phase out to something kind of cool right now let's see what i got outros Nope, not yet. There we go. See you guys. I hope you had a good time. All right. That is it for me. <laughs> and stay safe. Stay healthy. I want you guys to be as absolutely safe as possible. Wash your hands. Don't wear face masks because you touch your face all the time and you're just contaminating more things. Don't wear gloves because you're just cross-contaminating areas. Wash your hands. It's the best way to do it. Practice some social distancing. And we're going to get through this together. I guarantee it. See you then.